Hello everyone and welcome back to Charm Love by Carolyn. Today um, I'm feeling fall inspired so I decided to start stringing this check glass and garnet bracelet with the little check glass leaves and the garnet gemstone chips. I hope y'all can see it. Yeah, I'm feeling very fall inspired today, so I decided to string a bracelet. Now, of course, we're going to be using these pretty garnet chips. We're going to be using these check glass leaves, these little check glass maple leaves. Very cute. I'm um, going to be using some crimp tubes. Some wire guardians. Oops. Oops, oops. Wire guardians. And just our basic normal tools for today's project. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now, happy Labor Day, first of all, to everyone. Hope everyone's Labor Day is going well. I hope everybody's being safe and having a good time. So yeah, fall is right around the corner. So, as you can see, I already started. I already applied my crimp tube and my wire guard and I strung a few garnets and the leaf to see how it would look. I think it looks kind of cute right now. So, I'm just gonna finish stringing these right here with you all. <coughs> Excuse me. Huh. That was kind of dry today. But yeah. Um, while I string, I guess I can tell you all a little something about me. As you all know, my name is Carolyn. And I'm the owner of Charm Love by Carolyn. I hope y'all can see that. And I also, <laughs> this is not my only job. I do work a day job. So, yeah, and I've been on that job for 10 years. Uh, I don't have one position. I started out as stalker, but of course, now I, I mean, they, being there 10 years, I do mostly everything. I cashier, I work in the kitchen, I open and close the store. And um, the people I work for, they also own a liquor store, wine and spirits. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let, me. let me use the proper term, wine and spirits. So I work there um, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, and Sunday, which I don't like. Uh, I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't like it because... First of all, it's wine and spirits. Second of all, we have a law, as, as everybody does, I'm quite sure. And to have to deal with the people, when they come in there and I ask for ID, and to have to deal with them and their attitudes is like um, really not my favorite thing. Not at all. Because, I mean, it's just, it's uncalled for. It's the law. You come in, and if you're going to buy something to drink, hey, expect to be ID'd. And if you don't have your ID, expect not to be served. But, honey, no. So, that is what I do on a, on a daily basis. And outside of that, I don't do much of anything. I sit, I make jewelry. I'm I'm trying to progress with my YouTube channel. <clears throat> so this is where where I've went so far. Hopefully y'all can see that. But yeah. Um outside of me trying to make my YouTube channel. Like I said, me and my daughter, I, I love my baby girl. We just basically hang out when we have a moment because she also works. So, 
But yeah. I'm 59. Uh, I'm, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, I'm trying to give myself more age than, than I want right now. I'm 49 years old and I have, actually I have two kids. Uh, my daughter stays with me. My son, he is in his own place right now. So, yeah. That's, that's a little bit about me. Just a little bit. Um, I'm going to measure this bracelet. <clears throat> See how far we've gotten. Okay. We are... We are at four inches right now. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be a long video. I, I just was doing nothing and I want to get on and kind of talk to y'all for a little bit um and let y'all know I, I do have some things planned for my channel because um <clears throat> with the type of work I do like I said I'm 49 which is not old but for the type of work that I do uh I'm getting a little too old for that I, I really am and running between two places is like it, it's very tiring it, it wears me thin let me tell you it wears me thin but i gotta do what i gotta do to get where i need to go that's what i say and this is a start this is the start of my retirement plan if you will i hope y'all can see yeah, let's see. I measured it just a minute ago. We were at four inches. <clears throat> let's see how far we've gotten. But yeah, I got some things planned for the channel. Good things, hopefully. Some things that people want to see. Because um, this is all about you right now. We're at four and a half inches. So I don't know if I'm going to make this bracelet for me. Or if I'm going to make it to sell. Either way it go. I mean, if anybody likes it, message me. Feel free to message me and I will surely accommodate your request. I have no problem with that. that that's why I'm getting in the business. It, it's all about the customer and making the customer happy. Because trust me, if if you think about it, if you think about it, we're all customers, right? And when we go to these places, we spend our money. We want to be made happy. We want satisfaction and we want quality. And that is my ultimate goal is to give quality products and make sure my customer base is satisfied because, I mean, you know. Anything I can do to help make you happy if you purchase a product from me, I am there. I am all yours. Feel free to reach out anytime. And if y'all go on my website, on my Etsy shop, it's Charm Love by Carolyn. Um, I put some things there. But if it is, like, if you see something in a video that I've made and you don't see it on the website, feel free to message me. Because it's probably, the thing is, I just haven't gotten a chance to put it there yet. I don't need a new ruler because I, I really can't see with this ruler. Okay, so... Let's see, I think we're about like five and a half. I add this check glass leaf. I should be. Right at six. And I didn't tell y'all what type of, um, beading wire I'm using. I'm using tiger tail. Oops, sorry y'all. 
I'm using tiger tail. If you can see it. It's really thin. Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, I made a bracelet one time and I asked my daughter to wear it. And she said before she got out the door, it fell apart. And I, I was quite sure I was crimping properly. I did learn how to crimp properly. But I'm not sure. I just think it was kind of thin. Okay. So now. We've gotten that all strung out. I like it. The glad the check glass almost looks like look like the garment garnets. Okay, so now I I'm going to let me see if I can turn y'all around a little bit. Um, well, maybe you can see better that way. Now. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take, I'm going to take a crimp tube, if I can keep up with it. Like I said, previous videos, I'm going to take my crimp tube, and I'm going to thread it onto my tiger tail. In the meantime, while I'm I'm trying to get these little components together, Halloween's coming up, everybody. Let me know in the comments what what is your Halloween plans? What what do you got planned for Halloween if you celebrate Halloween? I don't rightly say I celebrate Halloween because I'm normally at work, but me and my daughter we that we take that as a, a fun day to just do stuff and eat stuff we plan to get like sometime we make rotel and have milkshakes we haven't had a milkshake in a while that's what i think i'm gonna tell her i want a milkshake we i know one year we had i can't remember what we had but we came up we we had some chocolate milk it was halloween milk or something like that and we decided to make a milkshake out of it and let me tell you it, it was quite quite tasty it really was okay now i'm trying to find a crimp tube so yeah I'm not sure what, what she wants to do this year or what she wants to eat, what we got planned to to cook or whatever. And, and we usually watch a scary movie. Not sure what movie we're watching this year either. I don't think any really good scary movies have come out as of late. If there is some scary movies, some good ones that have come out, uh, let me know in the comment section. Yeah, because we're, we're always looking for something good to watch. Now, what I'm about to do here is I'm about to pull this down. I'm going to try. I'm about to try, y'all. Because normally you just pull everything down and then you crimp it. Mm. Okay. If I can get my crimp tube. To get back on there. Okay. There we go. But yeah. Um, I'm actually trying to make this. My. Extra income source okay as you can see everybody i don't know how in focus i was but i just pulled everything down see i just pulled everything down and now 
I'm about to crimp. You have to make sure your bead stringing wire isn't crisscrossing in there. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Now, take my crimper, put it in the back notch, give it a squeeze. And take it out put it in the front notch and give it a squeeze tidy it up a little bit okay now Cut my bead string and wire. Move all that out of the way. Okay, and there's the beginning of our bracelet. I don't know how how well y'all can see that. I'm give it some more light here. Okay, there we go. Now what I'm going to do next, I'm going to take some jump rings. Um, I had, oh, I guess I can't find them. Oh well. I'm just going to take some jump rings. Okay. A lobster class and some let me let me see if I can get y'all down a little bit. Okay. There. Now, hopefully y'all can see that better. It seems like the lighting ain't so good. All right. Now, I'm just going to take some jump rings. Now, if you want to, you can make this adjustable. Just add a piece of extension chain to it. Take my little jump ring. Sorry, y'all. Like I said, me and little components, we really don't work well together, but got it. Okay. Just going to take that. Um, thread this on. I'm going to add the lobster class. Oh, I'm going to get that closed back. Oops. Okay. There we go. I'm just going to take this other one. And, oh, if I can get it. There we go. Open it up. Place it right on the other end. Give that a close. Now, 
see if we can get this open. And all right, there we go. Now, I know it looks like a small bracelet, but it's for my little tiny wrist, so it should work. Okay, now, sorry about that, y'all. All right, there you go. Getting y'all trying to get y'all a closer look. There you have it beautiful garnet and check glass bracelet fall inspired feeling very fall-esque i appreciate y'all for watching like comment and subscribe let me know what y'all want to see in the comments and i really do appreciate you and i hope everyone has a happy happy labor day don't get too full off a of barbecue, but hey, that, that's what you're supposed to do on Labor Day, right? Thank you once again. Enjoy your holiday, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.